What is going on guys, Hex Company back back in today with a brand new video and as always down in the title below will be the topic we're talking about today and that is the Ask Hex Q&A &A. and first of all I want to say I'm sorry if you guys hear training in the background, there is nothing I can do about that but something I can do is answer your questions so the first question comes from So now this question actually really has me thinking, what anime made me cry the most? Oh, man, I mean, I'm just trying to think of very sad animes. And ReZero comes to mind, like ReZero tore me apart, the whole like episode 15 thing with Ram, because you are so, you're so glued to these characters, so invested into these characters, because you understand his pain. And that's what The Return by Death does in that show. It makes you so, because you get to see everything. And you get to see, truly understand Subaru, because it's really as if you and Subaru are the only ones that are going through it but yet you still can't reach out to Subaru so you're, in a sense you're kind of like Subaru you know obviously since he's on screen fictional character you can't reach out to him but the whole rim scene episode 15 or zero I think that really that really like I was just literally like upset like I was generally depressed honestly like I somewhat felt the same way Subaru did of course I didn't lose my damn mind but I was broken like in a sense I was like truly I think a lot of people were like truly in a sense we were all broken and it's just so crazy that a show was able to do that but probably ReZero but another show I would give honorable mention to is probably like Mother Rosario arc and Sword Art Online like the whole thing with Yuki it's kind of like what you know it's just it's crazy man how she is sick she was born with well, AIDS and she can never really be healthy she can never fight off uh, sicknesses and whatnot, right? So those two are really sad. There's other ones that have been really sad, but that that one that one really takes the quick cake, man. But so our next question comes from. Oh my gosh, my favorite arc in fairy tale from Caitlin Crafts. Hmm, favorite arc in fairy tale. Mm, I think Tartarus was the best written arc per se, maybe. Um, but favorite arc, I, I really like a lot of fairy tale arcs. I mean, the the Phantom arc is so good in the very beginning. What a great arc to introduce people to the show. The Lost, you know, Loxus arc. Um, Tinder Island arc really cool. Atlas Lark is good. I did enjoy Atlas Lark. I think it's, Atlas Lark is, is, an, uh, is like really kind of an arc I really enjoyed, but it's an, I don't think it's an arc I like seeing over and over again. But I mean, I, that could still be my favorite. Mm, not not the clock. The, the clock arc is not my favorite by no means, I would say. I don't think. Um, the, I really like the Terminal arc too. I mean, the Dragon arc too. Oh, man. Man, that's a hard one. I really like Fairy Tale as a whole, but if I really truly had to choose one arc... I would probably say Terminal Arc. I know a lot of people are going to hate me for that, because, but the Terminal Arc is so awesome, man. I absolutely love the Terminal Arc because I was a jock in high school and I like the competitive aspect of it. And I like it because we get to see, there's so much screen time that's getting just spread out. There's so much screen time. We get to see old characters. We get to see some new characters. It's just getting spread out so well. And I love seeing, like, all the people of Fairy Tale, all the people of Mermaid Hill, they all have, like, a role to play. All the important people. And I love that. I love I love the fact that in that arc, there's just a shit ton of stuff going on. It's not just, like, maybe Tinra Island arc. There's a fight going on here. There's a fight going on here. It's just, like, there's, there's, there's people everywhere. And everyone's involved in everything. You know, involved in everything. So that's probably... Why that's my favorite arc. But the next question comes from none other than. William Lawler. One of my one of my favorites on the channel. One of my favorites. Guy's a douchebag. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. William knows I love him. But uh, what am I studying in college? Well, I am studying my associates in arts right now. Then after that, who the hell knows? I may be going into exercise science. You guys don't know, but I used to, Hex used to be pretty pretty big. I actually used to bench press 285 pounds. Um, if I could show you the arms, if this shirt wasn't there, man, you can see the outline. You can see the you can see my arms are pretty big, man. You can see it. But um, uh, I'm not sure. Exercise science may be my main thing to obtain um i'm th like if you guys have seen double talk i want to do things like that i need to look into that so the social media like some kind of social media degree or something if there's even a social media degree if it's technically called a social media you know degree but something like that would be really cool would be really fun um i want 
I know, I, don't, I don't know. The more I do this, who knows? I mean, who knows? If I truly blow up on here, this may be what I'm. Got you know. I'm I, studying may not be a thing. It may be a thing of the past. This may be what I want to do. So I'm not really sure entirely. I'm so happy someone asked me something outside of anime, which I don't mind anime questions, obviously, because I love talking about anime as people. But yeah, I'm glad to see someone went outside the box. So next question comes. Am I excited for the fairy tale movie? Well, let me let, let me tell you something here, son. Do you think I like fairy tale? Do you think I love fairy tale? Of course I'm excited for the movie. Are you kidding me? Come on now. You know I'm excited for that movie, especially after the first movie because the first movie is fire. The animation was fire, and the animation's only got better in the series. And I'm expecting the movie to be fire, honestly. I mean, um, they're yeah. I mean. Uh, now she starts to turn into a dragon, for God's sake. This movie's going to be fucking awesome. So, next question comes from... So, Kristen Hoffman asked me, what would I change in Fairy Tale, huh? What would I change? What would the next arc... Or, what would the next arc be, per se? I don't know. Um, I mean, I like the way it's going. I don't think I really changed anything. The gangs that be getting back together. I mean, hell yeah. I mean, that's awesome. They they split up. That's huge. Obviously, Fairy Tale, the number one guild ever is not the number one guild anymore. Hell, they're not even a guild anymore. Period. But I mean, I don't think I changed anything. I think it's absolutely awesome what they're doing. I mean, gotta rally, you know, rally everybody up again. Get the guild going. I mean, so I I don't think I I don't if I had to just you know. The chance to decide. I don't think I'd really change anything. One thing that I would like, just this isn't technically the question, but I'd love to learn more about Juvia's backstory. Oh my God! Like who? The hell, who the fuck's Juvia? Who? Who the fuck's Juvia? I mean, I would love to learn, you know, learn about Juvia's backstory because I don't even think in the manga they've gone to Juvia's backstory, but Juvia plays an important part a lot. You know, sometimes in fairy tales, she's definitely like that secondary main character. Not, I wouldn't even say she's necessarily a supporting character. Like the way they they portray her character to be. I wouldn't say even say she's a supporting character. I mean, in a lot of times, even though she is most definitely, you can tell she's not a main character. But I wouldn't say she's a supporting character either. I would say she's a secondary main character because like the way they present her, it's just it doesn't feel like a supporting character a lot of times. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't really think I'd change anything. But next question comes from none other than. What is my favorite hint time? Well. I gotta bring y'all in close here, especially you, Isaac. Hentai is not porn. It is a scientific study, you know, a scientific study in which we need to learn more about the scientific aspect of anime. It's, it's, it's a, it's not even, it's not even hentai. It's, it's science. Once again, it's science, and it's just. Fuck! I don't know where I'm going with this. It's only Chichi Harvest. And the final question comes from... So how did I get my YouTube name? Now, I think I've said this long ago, but I didn't really put a main focus on it, so I probably went in there and out the other. But I actually started this in, as a lot of people say, do video game sex. No. You know why? Because I got 50 subscribers in six months when I did video, video games. It just wasn't me. It just wasn't my thing. And I'm not as good as entertaining, I guess, when I'm playing video games. Now, unless it's probably 2K, I'd probably have a million subscribers if I did that. But, I mean, my buddy, we say some things I can't even put on YouTube, I don't think. Now, I got my name from gaming. So, it started out Hex Competitive. I, my name was Hex. I liked that name. I thought it was cool. And I like competitive gaming, which I still do. That's, like, my other passion. That was, like, my primary passion I wanted to put on YouTube at first, right? And now, I have fucking have fallen in love with anime. Oh, my God. From the bottom of my heart, I love you guys, dude. Like, I've fallen in love with what I'm doing, but I wanted to keep a piece of me, you know, I wanted to keep a piece of my other passion, and, you know, the content would support who I, you know, who I am, and the name would support, well, what I care about, you know, the competitive part, the competitive gaming part, my n name is Hex on PS4, my name is Hex on, um, Xbox One, my name is Hex on P PC for video games, so I wanted to merge them together, I wanted to take a piece, I didn't, because it's something I'm, that's dear to my heart, you know, and this anime is something that's dear to my heart, so I put them together, made the content anime, kept the name Hex Competitive, I said, hey, how about we give it a six month trial, and in the six months, 
I didn't get 50 subscribers. I got a thousand, and it's awesome because I got to you know I still got to keep a piece of me that I love in the gaming side aspect and the anime, and it worked out. Fun fact though, if you guys made it this long, leave down in the comments what this fun fact is. I hit a. Not only did I hit you know give it the six month trial again and earn 1,000 subscribers, the day I hit 1,000 subscribers was actually the original date in which I started this channel. But yeah, that's fucking cool, huh? That's something that's so crazy when I look at it. I was like, when did I start this channel? I was like, holy shit. I started the channel the same day I actually hit 1,000 subscribers. That's crazy. Six months at 1,000 subscribers. And that first year, I went on the next six months to have, well, 4K subscribers. So that's awesome, too. But as always, guys, thank you for the questions. I'm sorry if you hear like a fan in the background. H HVAC just kicked on. Heating system is winter. We've got to keep warm, right? But I actually enjoy the questions. I hope you guys enjoy the new style of the Q&A with actually putting, you know, screenshots and editing the screenshots and putting them out there before answering the questions. I hope you guys did enjoy that. Um, I think it looks better. It looks more professional, per se. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, guys, you've been hexed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, X25, and I'll see you guys next time. You guys are the mother fucking best.